For this video, we're going to be subtracting a whole number with a mixed number <clears throat> using a number line and renaming. So for the first one, we have 5 minus 1 and 2 thirds. So we're going to be subtracting from 5. So 1 and 2 thirds is going to be subtracted from 5. So my number line is going to end at 5 because we are subtracting. Remember that a mixed number, in essence, is 1 plus 2 thirds in this case. So I can go ahead and start by subtracting the whole number, which is the 1. So 5 minus 1 gets us to 4. Now we're left with a step of subtracting the 2 thirds. Just subtracting the two thirds, that leaves us at three and one third as my answer, or five minus one and two thirds. To check your answer, you can always add three and one third plus one and two third, and that'll get you back to five. For our second exercise, we have six minus four and one fifth. In this instance, I'm not going to create my number line all the way to 6. I'm going to use common sense. I know that 6 minus 4 gives us 2. So my number line shouldn't go, shouldn't need to go farther than 2 because I already know that 6 minus 4 equals 2. So my answer is going to be something less than 2. Now, I partition my number line into fifths because that's what the mixed number denominator is. It's partitioned to fifths. The first step I'm going to take is start off with 2 because I've already subtracted my whole numbers. 6 minus 4 gives us 2. I'm left with subtracting one last thing, which is the fraction, the 1 fifth. So from 2, I'm going to subtract 1 fifth. That leaves me at 4 fifths. Now be careful. Your answer is not 4 fifths. There's still a whole number that is attached there, which is 1. My final answer is 1 and four fifths. Check your work. One and four fifths plus four and one fifths should give you six.